It's Miss Elizabeth, and I thought today I'd show you a little bit about my garden. So we're gonna start over here, and this is really exciting because when I planted these, the roots were all down in the ground and there were no leaves. And now look, there's this leaf here, and there's another little leaf coming up, and this leaf. This plant is called rhubarb, and the red stalk here gets nice and long and big and fat, and it's really delicious when you cook it. So that's some rhubarb, and then there's a lot of open dirt here, but I've planted some seeds, and maybe I can show you them when they start popping their little heads up. Over here, you can see these super tiny little leaves. All these little tiny plants here. These are all little seeds that I planted. And they're starting to pop up. This here is a weed, so I'm going to pull this up. Because I don't need that in my garden. That's not what I want. These are going to turn into little white flowers. And they're called a psyllum. And they look like this. And then over here, I'm pla I planted zinnias, and I think some of them are starting to pop up a little bit. Like right here, that's, that's a little zinnia start, and so is that one. Um, so they're going to be all those different colors um, eventually. Okay, so over here, this is my little herb patch. And these flowers here, these little purple flowers, these are part of the lavender plant. So I have a... a a lavender plant here and whoop, here's another weed this this kind of weed is called a vine a vining weed and I think it's a morning glory um, they like to wrap around other plants and choke out the, the all the nutrients that they're getting oh look at that do you see that down there that's a slug and slugs like to eat the things in the garden so I'm gonna try to get him out of here See how he's sticking to the leaf there? He doesn't want me to pick him up, but I don't want him eating my my herbs. So I'm just gonna pick him up and toss him over there. He can go eat the weeds over there. Okay, so this is a, an herb called thyme. And so it's growing here. And that, this is called sage. And this one is called rosemary. And this was one of my favorite spices. I really love rosemary. And then this is oregano. That's also delicious. Okay, so right here, you see all these little plants that are starting to pop up? These are um, going to be basil. Um, basil plants, I think. Or there might be weeds. I think they might be weeds, actually. But I'm waiting to see because I know I planted seeds over here. So sometimes I don't, I'm not sure if it's a weed that's growing or if it's the plant I planted. So this plant right here, this plant has purple flowers as you can see. And these purple flowers are going to attract bees and butterflies. I'm really excited that it's starting to flower. This plant right here, this plant is also growing. Um, some flowers. So these are going to be some dark purple flowers over here. And then this right here is called a sebum plant. And you see how the water collects inside the leaves? So what it does is these plants are usually in hotter climates where there's not as much water. So when it does rain, their leaves collect the water so that it can be absorbed See how it kind of goes down towards the plant? So they collect water so that it never um, gets too dry. Here's some more weeds I don't want. And then this is the tomato plant. So this tomato is going to turn into some big yellow tomatoes. It's not quite ready yet. It's still growing. And then these are some sunflowers that we planted and it looks like the bugs have been really eating them so we're gonna try to find a way to help the bugs find something else to eat instead of our plants and then over here over here we have another tomato plant and this plant is gonna be smaller smaller tomatoes um, and you can see there's a flower here right here so every time a tomato plant grows some flowers 
those flowers are gonna turn into um, tomatoes. So right now they're just they're just starting out. So we gotta wait. We're gonna have to wait a while for them to grow into tomatoes. But they start as flowers and then they grow into tomatoes. All right. So that's my garden. Um, hopefully I'll be able to show you things as they start growing more and more. All right, guys. Bye.